and here in the leafy suburbs of Berlin a new piece of kit is transforming archaeology and it doesn't involve any excavation. Benjamin Duker is an archaeologist turned computer scientist, Marco bloch berlitz an expert in artificial intelligence. Together they're using their expertise to explore the past using a drone combined with state-of-the-art software. They call it the Archaeocopter. It has uh, an action cam attached to it that takes high-resolution video streams and from these video streams we create our 3D models in a process we like to call videogrammetry. Since it was deployed two years ago, the Archaeocopter has been well-travelled. Field trips to Iceland, Mongolia, Uzbekistan and Mexico. The Huasteca is a part of north-eastern uh, Mexico that has been inhabited for at least 3,000 years. And uh, 2,000 years back, it had um, a subtropical culture, the Huastec culture, that produced large cities, um, pyramids, very famous sculptures. But the architectural remains are not that well known, and not that well surveyed and not that well published. In Uzbekistan, in Central Asia, they scan the remnants of mud brick forts around the historic city of Bukhara, built, so they think, around the time of Genghis Khan in the 13th century. Here, in the gardens of the German Archaeological Institute, the challenge was relatively modest, to scan, to capture a middle-aged man on a bench. Propellers attached, video camera turned on, and the Archaeocopter was ready to go. They're obviously used to scanning artefacts that don't move, so I was told to sit still for 10 minutes. The specially designed software takes the video we recorded and selects the best images to recreate the 3D environment. They like to call it automatic keyframe selection. A cloud of dots slowly develops into what resembles a painting or an etching. And so here I was, me and my bench in glorious 3D. The technology has obvious commercial value, not least for architectural modeling and the gaming industry. But such is their commitment to archaeology, they are literally giving it away for free. Archaeologists have no money. Yeah. And so many monuments are being destroyed throughout the world. Yeah. This seems to be your gift back to the world. Yes, yes. With this key, everyone is able to preserve his culture and heritage. When we see things, that's when we believe things, and that's when you know, we allow ourselves to be impressed by our visual senses. And this is something that, of course, 3D models, um, digital computer images achieve, and it's, a, it's something important and it is uh, something that can move people. I like to feel this attachment to the past because I think only if you have a past then you can also have a future.